greetings of peace and all good, and welcome to the St. Anthony Devotion. Franciscans all over the world celebrate this devotion with the people of God on Tuesdays. And we, the Franciscan Friars here in Singapore and Malaysia, we are under the special patronage of St. Anthony of Padua, and we are very happy they can join us in this time of prayer. This devotion to St. Anthony, our elder brother in faith, this wonder worker, powerful intercessor, teacher and preacher, carer of poor children, model of purity. And at this time, we invite you to offer your petitions and to voice your needs to God, our tender and loving Father, to the intercession of St. Anthony. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Let us pray. O Holy Saint Anthony, gentlest of saints, your love for God and charity for His creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous powers. Encouraged by these thoughts, we implore you to obtain for us. We offer up our petition in the silence of our heart. O gentle and loving Saint Anthony, whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper our petition into the ears of the sweet infant Jesus, who loved to be folded in your arms, and the gratitude of our hearts will ever be yours. Amen. The Aspiration to Saint Anthony Saint Anthony, our patron and our advocate, grant us what we ask of you. Saint Anthony, powerful in word and work, grant, grant us what we ask of you. Saint Anthony, attentive to those who invoke you, grant us what we ask of you. Saint Anthony, glory of the Church and owner of the Franciscan Order, grant, grant us what we ask of you. Saint Anthony, whom the infant Jesus so much loved and honoured, grant us what we ask of you. A reading taken from the legend of Saint Anthony. There was a Franciscan novice who had already grown tired of living religious life, had decided to depart the community in which Saint Anthony was living in too, in Montpellier, France. The novice told himself that he was too young and too wicked to enter the order. He realized that donning a habit could not change a sinner into saint. He admitted that he had worked on his faith and that he had not stolen or been sleeping with any women since he joined the order. But as the months went on, he grew tired of begging and repairing chapels and praying and fasting. He felt that out in the street, he was freer as a beggar, despite being poor. In the order, he seemed always surrounded by other friars, hemmed in by doctrine, constrained by holiness, and sometimes he felt as if he was suffocating. Finally, he came to realize that he could never be a friar. St. Anthony was a teacher at that time. He had a book of Psalms that was very important to him. Besides the value of any book before the invention of printing, Anthony had the notes and comments he had made to use in teaching students in his Franciscan order. So the day came when the novice decided to leave the order. And before he leaves, he went into Anthony's room and stole his commentary on the Psalms and immediately left the friary and ran to the city named Arles. His plan was to sell the commentary and purchase some useful clothing and give the habit he now wore to a beggar. Upon realizing his book was missing, St. Anthony prayed it would be found or returned to him. 
a hideous beast appeared to the novice, threatening to kill him and throw his body into the river if he did not return the book. So the young man decided to return it to St. Anthony. With remorse feeling, the novice went into St. Anthony's room. He fell on his knees, his head bowed, and he asked for forgiveness and thinks that he deserves to be beaten so it would trash the guilt and deceit away. Saint Anthony gently touched his shoulders and said, the wounds of Christ on the cross speak to the father of forgiveness, not vengeance, my little one. I had prayed to have my book back and I had prayed for you to return with it. The book has returned, have you? Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Dear friends, in this story, St. Anthony was portrayed as a loving and forgiving teacher. As Christ's follower, when someone does something wrong to me, can I forgive like how St. Anthony gently forgives his mischievous student? Do I sincerely seek for forgiveness for the sinful things I have committed and strive to return to God even if I have failed him countless times in my life? In this Lenten journey, let us be reminded of the words of Pope Francis when he said, the Lord never gets tired of forgiving. It is we that get tired of asking for forgiveness. God bless. The Responsory of Saint Anthony. If you ask for miracle, death, error, all calamities, the leprosy and demons fly, and health succeeds infirmities. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. All dangers vanish at your prayer, and deepest needs are cared for too. Let those who know your power proclaim, let all Christians say, these are of you. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. To the Father, Son, may glory be, and Holy Spirit eternally. The sea obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. General Intercession, let our response to each petition be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray today for reconciliation and forgiveness in our lives. We ask that the peace we long for would be present in our own lives and be an example to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that may this time of Lent help each one of us to look honestly into our own lives, our hearts, and have that courage to seek for forgiveness from God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Petition to Saint Anthony. Holy Mary, pray, pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Anthony, glory of the Friars Minor, pray for us. Saint Anthony, Ark of the Testament, pray for us. Saint Anthony, Sanctuary of Heavenly Wisdom, pray for us. Saint Anthony, Destroyer of Worldly Vanity, pray for us. Saint Anthony, Conqueror of Impurity, pray for us. Saint Anthony, Example of Humility, 
pray for us. Saint Anthony, love of the cross, pray for us. Saint Anthony, matter of desire, pray for us. Saint Anthony, generator of charity, pray for us. Saint Anthony, zealous for justice, pray for us. Saint Anthony, terror of infidels, pray for us. Saint Anthony, model of perfection, pray for us. Saint Anthony, console of the afflicted, pray for us. Saint Anthony, restorer of lost things, pray for us. Saint Anthony, defender of innocence, pray for us. Saint Anthony, liberator of prisoners, pray for us. Saint Anthony, guide of pilgrims, pray for us. Saint Anthony, restorer of health, pray for us. Saint Anthony, performer of miracles, pray for us. Saint Anthony, restorer of speech to the mute, pray for us. Saint Anthony, restorer of hearing to the deaf, pray for us. Saint Anthony, restorer of sight to the blind, pray for us. Saint Anthony, disperser of devils, pray for us. Saint Anthony, reviver of the dead, pray for us. Saint Anthony, tamer of tyrants, pray for us. From the snares of the devil, Saint Anthony, deliver us. From thunder, lightning, and storms, Saint Anthony, deliver us. From all evil of body and soul, Saint Anthony, deliver us. Through your intercession, Saint Anthony, protect us. Throughout the course of life, Saint Anthony, protect us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Saint Anthony, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Together with Christians of all ages, let us pray to the Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given Saint Anthony to your people as an outstanding preacher and a ready helper in time of need. With his assistance, may we follow the gospel of Christ and know the help of your grace in every difficulty. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I trust that you have had a prayerful experience with us. And if you have a petition that you'd like us to pray for, you may refer to the information below. And you can write to the same link if you'd like to subscribe to St. Anthony's Bread, our Franciscan newsletter, if you'd like to be updated about the Franciscan mission here in Singapore and Malaysia, and how you can also contribute to our efforts. Thank you and God bless.